Hello, Bill. This is back from Airwave, and uh, today here we are with our weekly Bitcoin wave analysis. Now, as usual, if you want to take a look at a few different long-term-ish counts available, I will link you to last week's uh, video. Um, and uh, but I think well, we might as well take a, a quick look at a few of them. Now, what is going on? The answer is I have no clue. But we'll try to take an educated decision today, or at least um, an educated guess. Now, as usual, I'm calling the bottom in place in this way for 15,000. Uh, can we do this? Yes, we can. Will we do that? I have no idea. And as of right now, I don't see it as a, um, let's say, probable scenario. Now, that out of the way. I am starting to consider, uh, so last week, if you've been following the channel, if you subscribe, if you're not, then I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, I was, I finally, I mean, I did all, I have all my evidence that we're suggesting, um, you know, further downside. And uh, last week we were at 59,000. Today we stand uh, right about, uh, right above 56. We touched 55 today. Um, so that's interesting however i am star i have reason to believe we might continue lower now the bullish count which is the only one left for uh i mean in the short term uh, i'm talking i'm talking the short term so in the short term the only bullish count left i mean there's two so there's one i mean they're both calling um they're both calling a bottom in place here at fifty nine thousand. One suggests this is a way for right here. The other one suggests nope. Nope. The other one suggests we have a wave two here. And uh, just forget about this. We have a wave two here and we are resuming higher. These are the two, um, you know, longer term ish counts that I see that for the short term, I can be bullish. How can I be bullish for a short term? So let's use this one. So let's zoom to the one hour chart. At this point, the only way I can see this being impulsive is as follows. This would be my preferred count. One, three, three. And this looks like it could be an anti diagonal. Now, as you see, I did have mark up this. I think I marked it up last week. Um, this area that's obviously where we would expect support. Now, if we take a look at the RSI, we can see uh, what some people call it. <laughs> I always laugh at it. I am also mentioning the other time around. Uh, they call it uh, what uh, some people call it. What's it called? Mm -hmm. Hidden bullish divergence on the RSI. Now, can someone explain me how is it hidden if you can see it? Um, that's that's a good question. So one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Is that going to happen? I don't know. But our size suggests we might see a turn, which doesn't mean we're going to go. Boom. But it, it, it does mean that we could get at least a bounce. Now, let's take a look at volume. How is volume? How has it been moving? So let's go on the daily. So on the daily, let's see, what day was this? So Wednesday, the 4th, pretty interesting volume um, to the upside as we, you know, we we were pretty much flat to downish with lower volume. And Wednesday, we pushed higher with higher volume, which is a bullish sign. Yesterday, we did move down and we, do, we did so with... Uh, a bit less volume so I think today is going to be interesting uh, I would expect a bounce today it looks like it um, and uh, the US market opens in less than an hour as of recording so it's gonna be interesting to see but that is my bullish count um, I mean w the yeah I would that would be the only bullish way I can see this happening. And at this point, if this is intermediate, this is most likely minor. 
I, I will change it after the video but uh, so because I need to change all the degrees but that that's you know I would see this as minor and that could take us to at least 80,000 uh, po potentially 100 uh, but 80,000 should be the minimum target now that was my bullish count what about the more conservative I uh, don't really want to call it bearish but you know conservative maybe is a better word um, so let's oh they don't show on the weekly okay sorry about that so one way to look at it is this one so actually actually let's just use the four okay so it's this one nope okay it would be that would have been that that count okay never mind god the good thing is I always named them, but then I forgot about them because I, I have so many things. Um, so that's one way to look at it. Down in A, A, B, C, and A. At this point, what I see possible is... So either as you see it, some sort of... Uh, even with, with vehicles, basically, similar to the other count, A, B, C and boom so that's possible that's one way to look at it and then downside into way so upside into wave b and then further downside into wave c of two or else or else and at this point i'm gonna do this get rid of that place it here wave b in place which looking at wave a a bit unlikely and this is leading diagonal into wave one, two, three, four, five. Is it possible? Yes, it is. And so far, I, I mean, we, we are in a correction, so we never know what's gonna happen because you never know which correction is gonna get, uh, which makes correction harder um, to identify, hence trade. However, uh, this is a viable option, isn't it? Uh, Okay, primary one done. Should probably as called it. Okay, so that's one way to look at it with a wave being placed. If not, um, I also have a scenario where we could be in some sort of a triangle slash sideways a wave B, A, B, C, D, and E, four B. And then downside. This is also possible. As I said, it's a, it's a, it's a correction. You never know which one you're gonna get. Um, or else, what else can I find? Uh, the other one, as I said, um, a, a, b, c. Yes. Sorry for a minute. I was a bit confused. So similar to the bullish count, so it would, be, would have the same implications as the bullish count. However, we would, so we wouldn't, you know, making one more push higher, but then downside. So that's one way to look at, um, which one is it going to be? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I should have probably, uh, should I create a folder? Probably should. So let's call it B not done. A, B, C. A, A, B, C. And there we go. Okay. Uh, what else can we look at? So, with the numbers, bullish count, as long as we trade below 65, there's no reason to have a strong bullish conviction. Yes, we can go higher, but, um, you know, you don't really have um, evidence in your favor. Uh, we need, as I, I said it many times now, we need 65K to, to act as support, test to support. As long as we, we trade below that, uh, no point in being so bullish. Um, and uh, at this point, you may ask, uh, Barry, is a wave four? 
So assuming we have a bottom in place, is it wave four? Are we in a wave two? I don't know, guys. It, it, it telling you which one is. I mean, it would. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, I wish I did, so I wouldn't need to be here. But uh, what I can see is looking at at this blank, you could argue you see some sort of a first large correction, second large correction. So you could argue this could be some sort of a one, two, three, four, and five, right? Uh, now, if we do this and fall back down here, at that point, I would be happy to call it a one, two. You know what I'm saying? If this correction gets deeper, then mm, this doesn't look like a you know, one, two, three, but it looks like either something is finished as a wave one or else, you know, could all of this be part of the same correction? Yes. Um, but, you know, it, 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 this would be quite catastrophic. Uh, looking at the indices, if we look at the indices, uh, which especially the NASDAQ as it tends to follow, uh, it, it, we're pretty much in the same boat. Are we in a wave two? Are we in a wave four? If you've been following, I'll, if you've been following the channel, you would, uh, you know, you know uh, the way I count. Well, why, why do they move my waist? Jesus Christ! You know the way I track the Nasdaq, um, different counts. One suggests, as you can see, we are in wave three, uh, all mess here. The other one suggests we have a wave one and two in place or in the making. Uh, so, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, when I think I will have a stronger conviction, I will let you know. But that's what I see. So, yeah, I mean, summing up, wave four completed. One, two, uh, one, three, four, five to at least 80,000. The moment we start finding support on 65, then we can turn bullish. Um, here, wave B in place, and we are resuming lower. We just had a, a lead down onto wave one of, oh, that would be minor, of C of two. There you go. Here, uh, pretty much the same scenario, just a different ways to count this up move. Um, one, two, upside, possible. Here, uh, we could be in some sort of a wave one, two, and we are missing one more leg higher to complete wave B of two, and then downside. Uh, but that would, uh, okay, yes. And, uh, the other way to look at it, um, I think uh, it's A, we're going to get a sideways B, then downside to again, a one, two. And with that, I uh, will uh, leave you to it. As usual, any questions, let me know in the comments. None of this was uh, financial advice, and um, I'll see you next one. Thanks.